La right, beer is a... I feel like I so want to just <laughs> get a spoon right now. Oh, yeah, you want to get a spoon? <laughs> no, I don't. I feel right at home right now. What's going on, family? This is Harry B with the Sandal Experience. You are used to my voice by now. You see Micah right there in the middle. He's on all the videos as usual. And you see Keisha on my far right. And this is Elijah that you barely see in the video. This is our first mukbang. Mukbang! That's right. We about to get busy. Busy! That's right, baby. We, we are having fufu, guys. And we're going to be having King K or Bang Coon because I don't really eat fufu. But for you guys, I am going to eat fufu today okay i'm gonna try some of this fufu i haven't had fufu forever there's a whole story about the fufu story yeah. i hope you enjoy the food we're gonna be having palava sauce let's go ahead and get get the food ready so we can go ahead and have this mukbang y'all the way it's slamming i got it i got it all right keep okay. bring, your, bring your plate closer yes. Micah, move your face the way it's slamming. So if y'all need more, we'll get more later, okay? Okay. We have to say a quick prayer, then we can go ahead and get started eating. Thank you, God, for doing everything you could. And thank you for even having us here. God, we thank you for this food. And we pray that this food is nourishment for our mind, body, and soul. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, guys. So we are about to dig in. And this is an African-American uh, mukbang because I'm African. They are half African and she's American. So, this is an African American <laughs> mukbang. We're just gonna dip our hand just to be able to take some of the fufu. So, you wanna dip your hand? Go ahead, Micah, dip your hand in. Okay, so let's go ahead and eat so we don't keep these people waiting. We don't wanna talk too much. So, you're just gonna pretty much just take some, mix it with some meat and some sauce, and then you're just gonna eat it. Wait, can I see how it tastes by itself for a second? Yeah. Peter, can I get some paper towels so I can um, oh. put some of my bone on it? It's good. I'm gonna eat it with the, with the sauce. Mm, I'm gonna eat it with the sauce. Yeah. Mm. So I've definitely seen some people say that you can, that you're not even supposed oh. to actually. Yeah, when you're talking, get the, get the microphone oh. with you. So I've definitely heard some people say that you're not supposed to even chew the fufu, that you should just be swallowing it. Honestly, I never heard that before. And I was never taught that, but we'll see how this goes. What do you think, Micah? Micah, the camera's over there. What do you think? It looks very, it tastes very good, and it looks very good. Mm. But it, but when it's by itself, it tastes bad. The way that, It doesn't really have much of a taste. Yeah. yeah. The food is kind of like, it's kind of like supposed to be mixed with the soup itself to like make it, like make mixed with the taste. It's more so like the texture. Right. So, <laughs> this is a quick story about how we got to this mug bomb today. I've been, uh, I've been watching some, well, some videos of mug bombs been coming across my, my feed on, on YouTube. And, um, they've been making me so hungry. <laughs> Every time I watch that, the African ones too. Man, they be looking like, my goodness, I want to eat some of that. <laughs> man, I think I saw one last night, if I'm not mistaken. And today, I was like, I called Keisha. I was like, man, I was like, Keisha, you got to get, you definitely got to get. Uh, hey, Daddy, what's this for? What is the fufu for? Oh, you mean with this? Yeah. This is the bankum. Oh, this, the is the, uh, this is the king cake. Wait, can we eat the king cake now? You can, yeah, you can eat, of course. But, no, no, get this one. Get this, eat this one. That one's already open. This one is open. That's really hot. Yeah, the, the sauce hot. is really hot. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to... That means the meat is hotter. How, like, spicy or how, like, pepper? Hot. I mean, how, like, like... like physically like, hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heat. It just came up the stove. <laughs> <laughs> Micah, chew it. Chew the bacon. Chew the kinky. Oh, you take it that? The kinky is, be is bitter. Mm -hmm. The kinky is not bitter. The king cake has a um a sour taste. Yeah, uh, sour. It, it's not sour taste. Yeah, it does taste sour. But it's a very slight sour taste. Woo! Ha ha. Yeah, be careful, Michael. Like use this as your cushion before you touch the food. Like don't try to touch the food. Yeah, pick the food up with. Yeah, with, with it. the don't food. Don't try to food. touch it. Don't eat by itself. Even though it's kind of hard not to do that though. 
So we want to thank everybody for helping us go viral on TikTok. It is very hot. Thank you. Thank you guys. We um, our Micah's Tower Challenge went viral on TikTok. We want to thank everybody that watched. I just eat it. So. One hand at a time. Oh, itching, yeah. itching, itching. Hmm? Yeah. It's, it's itching. itching. Whoa, almost the water. Now, I'm African, but we usually don't eat like this. Right, Liberia's I feel like I so want to just... <laughs> Get a spoon right now. Oh, yeah, you want to get a spoon? <laughs> no, I don't. I feel right at home right now. <laughs> so, let me pick up the microphone so I can do some, what is it called, Keisha? ASMR? Oh, I'm not in the show. What is it called, Mike? Yeah, I just put over here. <laughs> is it called ASMR? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. This is it. I know. So, guys, I don't eat fufu and, um, are they, are they ready for the story why I don't eat poo-poo? Or should we wait? No, no. Go ahead and tell us. Go ahead. So, <laughs> I can't believe I'm eating fufu right now. <laughs> so, I don't eat fufu because um, it was, I don't know. Do you remember what year it was? I don't remember what year it was. But it was in the United States. And I was at one of my aunt's house, Auntie Ed's house. Oh. And um, I don't know what happened that day. Because I used to eat fufu in Liberia. But when I came here, one day we went to Auntie Ed's house. And um, we slept over her house that night. And she made fufu that day. Whew, I almost fell. Yeah. She made fufu that day, right? Yeah. So, ate the fufu and everything. Everything was good. And I and then we all like you know went to sleep or whatever. And that night, it was like a knot in my stomach. I had the worst. <clears throat> no. I had the worst pain in my you stomach. Can't eat it. it was what? so bad. It's not a king cat. Yeah. <laughs> so basically. Micah is over there struggling. <laughs> so, so. So basically, <laughs> Micah just Stop chew trying it. Trying to eat the the kinke. <laughs> I thought that just was eat the fufu. The fufu is good. Yeah, so, so basically, what happened was, I don't know if it was food poisoning or something. Micah, 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 keep your hand over there. Why do we have this thing over here? You all the way over here in front of me. <laughs> what are you doing? So basically, what I don't know if it was food poisoning or or what happened, but my stomach was hurting so bad I felt like I was about to die. Man, it was so bad. I mean, I was turning up and down like I was staying. I was, I stayed up the whole night just turn, tossing and turning the whole night. And from that day forward, I was like, bruh, I am not eating food food anymore. And I think it was like maybe 15 or 20 years ago, I have not eaten fufu. This is probably my first day eating fufu since that day. So if my stomach hurts, <laughs> if my stomach... That had to be way longer than that, than that time period you're saying. It was probably 20, longer than that, right? You and I have been married for 18 years. Oh, and then, yeah. yeah. That time. Oh, yeah, then it's got to be 25 years. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's easy, <laughs> easy 25 years. All my food has bones, daddy. This palava so <clears throat> Woo! <clears throat> and I know I hurt my, my side, so I can't even cough right. But the question I have about that story... Babe, here. Okay, just keep it right there, go ahead. The question I have about that story is Fufu wasn't the only thing that you ate that day. You were there? I didn't have to be there. Because I mean? know that Fufu is not just eaten by itself. 
Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's eaten sure. with other yeah, it's eating eaten with other things. So it could have very well been and probably most likely was something else that you ate. In the soup. That, yeah, yeah, that you that made your stomach hurt. I don't know about all of that. All I know is my stomach was hurting and I, the last thing that I ate was fufu. You probably have fufu you have fufu with with something else though. So anyway, that was enough for me to say I'm good. <laughs> I'm cooling on fufu for for a while. So I haven't eaten fufu since that day. And I vow not to ever eat fufu again. <laughs> <laughs> so if this fufu hurt my stomach, <laughs> if my stomach hurts tonight, it's done for fufu. <laughs> I would never eat fufu again for the rest of my life. <laughs> like for real, for real, I'm, I'll be done with fufu. And still, you wouldn't know if it was the fufu or not. Because even there's something that we have in here that we think is questionable. Cool. Long time ago, somebody said, "Is Jack and John have a problem?" And then Jack and Michael have a problem, and then Jack and Keisha have a problem, guess who the problem is? <laughs> Jack. <laughs> so if the fufu is a consistent thread in this story, then <laughs> I guarantee <laughs> I don't care what else is there. I mean, we've eaten this stuff with rice. So, so I saw a more bomb on on YouTube with one of the Twitch um Twitch guys, I forget what his name is, one of the most popular ones. Was it Kai? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kai. He was eating food and somebody was in it, somebody was on the on the feed and said they said they said swallow it. But guess what he was doing? What? The boy went and took a piece of meat, put it on the fufu and tried to swallow that he almost choked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't swallow the meat, boy. What <laughs> you doing? <laughs> to swallow the fufu, not the meat. Swallow the fufu. Even if you get a piece of meat on the fufu, separate it in your mouth and chew the meat and swallow the fufu. I'm trying to get this ow out. Michael, you're making a mess. Put that meat back on the on the plate. Hey, okay. give me that. Give me that that, that uh, cow skin. Huh? That's cow skin. This is one of my oh, favorites. I want, I want some of that. Mm. You have any cow skin in here? Mm hmm. Cow skin right here. I want this some. Um, cow skin is my, definitely one of my favorite meat. I think goat meat is my favorite, but cow skin. Oh, I remember cow skin. I can tell Cow skin you. on certain, certain foods. Depending on what the food is. What do we eat it with? Man. Cow skin definitely in soup. Like yeah, I don't think we eat it palm, with like palm spinach. butter. Mm-mm. Yeah, cow skin and palm butter is like palm butter and like crabs and cow skin. Mm-hmm. Is the best thing ever. And the uh, uh, chicken feet. Yeah, and yeah. palm butter. Okay. So in like in Liberian food, in Liberian food, the way we do it, we we have a smokish board of foods in Liberian food. But when it comes to like the different meats, look at Micah's, <laughs> look at Micah's, uh, this is Micah's, this is definitely Micah's first mukbang, and he is inside mm-hmm. the food. <laughs> I had mukbang so, before. The kinke, <clears throat> kinke slash bacon, you can definitely chew that one. So, I got the, um, the Nigerians or the Ghanaians, they have pounded yam. They say oh, the Nigerians. Yeah. They have pounded yam, so. My pants. What are you doing? What? Keisha, give me some paper towel, please. Because these kids are making a big, sloppy mess over here. I had to move back, so. It's no. hard. Black and, black and lift your arm. So itchy. You got extra money, mm-hmm. you're putting your hand in this, your hand is all in the soup. Your whole face is, is dipped in the soup. <laughs> I'm going crazy. So can we get an SMR? Is it SMR, Keisha? Yeah. Can we get an SMR for Micah? A-S-M-R. ASMR. Oh, ASMR. Micah, just, just, I'm just going to hold it right here while you eat.
Open it. Don't put your mouth on my mic. <laughs> Eat, biker. Never mind. You, should get, you should get me. All right. Because I'm eating dumb. Okay, go ahead. I hold the microphone. Open the thing. That's why. That's why you got the stuff all over your fingers. Let me put it on your throat. Let's see what it sounds like. Ah, you know what it sounds like now. <sighs> More cow skin, guys. Cow oh yeah, I had some cow skin. In that video when we when we eat before we eat, we say y'all are ill. I don't know if I forgot to say it, so I'll be dead. right here. If you want it. What? Oh, let me get that. All right, can you tell us? Um, can you tell us? Mm. Do you swallow cough skin or do hey. you? No, you're not supposed to swallow anything. Yes, babe, go ahead. Can you tell us what's in the soup that we have? Maybe in the soup? Not. Yeah, we know that it's palava sauce, but what exactly is in this? So, palava sauce is jute leaf. Um, I forget what I can't. Jute leaf tastes like okra, so it's like it's slimy like okra. But basically, the ingredients are um, an assortment of meats. In ours, we have we have uh, what is it called? The chicken was um. Roasted chicken was it? Um, it was smoked chicken. Smoked chicken. So we have smoked chicken. We have cow skin. We have beef, like the the beef beef cutlets. Was that what the one that you bought last time? Yeah. We have beef cutlets. I was actually gonna use the beef cutlets for um for sister bobs. We're about to make some sister bob, but today. But I, yeah, we were. I said. Oh. We were gonna make some sister bar, but I decided to use the the beef for this. And then we have uh, we have what's called dry dry fish. Mm -hmm. And the dry fish, we have. Can I get some paper towels <clears throat> on my side. Woo, the pepper. I oh, Are you eating pepper? So it's regular chicken. It's fowl chicken. The chicken that's a little harder than regular chicken. So, I was actually going to put some shrimp in it, but I forgot. So, Liberian cooking. So, for all my um, my fans on Liberian board cooking, you guys are going to get this video too. So, everybody on Liberian board cooking. What's this? We're eating jute leaf. Let me. And uh, this is our mukbang for the Sando experience. But... The other channel that we have is where I bring board cooking. If you go to our page on the Sando Experience, we have how to make palava sauce. We have that video on there. So we have this this right here. We have that on there on how to how I made a, a separate one to this. We're using different meats on this one, but it's similar the the way that you make it. And I did record. I did record uh, some footage of a little bit of the process, not the step-by-step, -step, but I did record the process. So if you guys are watching this, I'm showing you the process right now. Or I'm showing you some of the footage. I have footage. cow skin. I have uh, of the process. roasted or smoked fowl chicken. You're going to see um, some fish. So here we have, um, we have the, be the meats being prepared. Over here, waiting to and then we have the palava sauce being prepared. prepared. This is the palava sauce, and then you stir it and put some more oil. And on then it. I actually had oil. Elijah use his phone when I was mixing the um, the fufu when I was actually preparing the fufu with my hand. So that's what you're looking at here. So basically, we put the fufu in a in a bowl, or once you get the fufu ready and once it's um, crystallized or thickened. You gotta turn into these little balls that you see us eating here. Everybody don't do it the same way, but you know, this is some of it. All right, guys, we hope that you enjoyed that video and we had a fun time. So 
just don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, comment, and we just want to remind you to make, make new memories. memories. Peace. Peace.